Hello and welcome to 2022 and welcome to Dungeon Hack. <laughs> this is one of the games I think that was in one of those good old games bundles of a bunch of like D&D based games. But when I was looking at it, it looked very, very similar to Anvil of Dawn, which is like, I think the second or third game I played on this channel like two years back. So that's already a blast from the past for me just for two years ago, let alone <laughs> for this came out in 1993. So this is going to be hopefully pretty straightforward. <laughs> this already seems very interesting. Um, also, just a quick FYI, it's been a while since I've recorded videos. So um, I'm doing just like another one-off video just to kind of get back in the swing of things and remember what I'm doing. I'm also testing out, um, as you can tell, there's like a slightly different camera angle and I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a cat cam. <laughs> wanted to be able to include my cat in there maybe i don't know we'll see how this goes there's a mess behind him that i just didn't want to clean up yet that's usually hidden <laughs> i'll move that box one day anyways <laughs> today we're playing dungeon hack i'm excited i'm gonna go and i kind of skipped through the intro so i'm gonna show the intro again so we can watch it together because it seems fascinating and the music the music is pretty fire yeah, this is the same company, Dreamforge Entertainment, Entertainment, sorry, um, is the same company that did Anvil of Dawn. I checked that kind of once I started looking at some of the pictures, I was like, yeah, this is very, very similar. But I think earlier, by about three years? So maybe we'll see some precursors there. I do really like this music. <laughs> That describes a lot of places. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna have to hack a dungeon to figure it out. Okay, good. You're giving me the dungeon. Oh, that's like the map. Okay. You say that, but you're not giving me an amount. Just going in supply list. Let's do it. We'll level up. It's okay, buddy. She seems powerful enough without the orb, though, so... This is a cool um, opening cinematic. Good intro. Very atmospheric. Like it's a with the skull in the dungeon. <laughs> Handily, easily handled. I like this guy. Yeah, let's taunt the dungeon. That's gonna end well for everyone. All right, so I've, I've looked at the screen already. I'm gonna choose a character. I've not looked at this. Um, I'm definitely not gonna create a character. She, she seems delightful. Female, ooh, I love female dwarves. Neutral good fighter. Oh gosh, that's like literally my D&D character right now. This all but unassailable female dwarf fights as well as any male of her race. She claims to hail from the Dwarven Valley, but I've never seen a site as infamous as Kelvin's Cairn. That's an in 
Ality is a trained. Her name's Fatzen. <laughs> is a trained hearth guard, a warrior who failed at her sworn duty to defend her family's stronghold. Deeply shamed, she has wandered ever since in self-imposed exile. With each opponent, she reduces the carrion. Fatzen believes she is one step closer to avenging the deaths of her kin. I like her. Um, I might not go into so much detail about the other ones. Um, Cathra, evil mage. Numis Moltengale. Oh, that's tempting. Risen to manhood in a boring hovel. Okay. Livertus Gildernhort, Turgenhawk, Awful Good Ranger. This is very, very D and D. Orc half blood, half elf, I assume. Yeah. Cast Slatus Crypthound, chaotic good fighter. Um, Glorantha. <laughs> Glorantha Steel Rain, uh, full elf fighter. Nail dwarf fighter, Mornax Steel Steel Smite. Um, Cedric Lion Mane. Titan Stonefist. I don't know how many of these are. Ragnar Sea Raven. Oh, and Battle Scar. Event Card Pure Blade. Yalir Smooth Tongue. Bard. Roman Dread. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so many. Metal Greenwood. Valent Mornlight. Nasius Noble. There's no music here either. Reynald Bl Brave Blood. Tahio Merdrogue. Renova Swift Thorn. There's Fatson again. I'm gonna go with Fatson. <laughs> Just because I saw her first. And she seemed dandy. Face is a little bloated. Ooh, I'm tempted to just go straight easy. I'm gonna go straight easy. Again, we're doing this for fun. <laughs> Not for pride or glory. I combined those words in my head and said gride. <laughs> Loading dungeon. Oh, this would be cool if it was like procedurally generated, but I think that that's a little bit too much of a um, expectation there. <laughs> this one I also really wanted to do because like, I didn't need to create a party or anything, it's just one person. Yeah, this is really similar to Anvil of Dawn. Alright, I got a key. Fire key. I can't go that way. Okay, I want to... There we go. So, does that attack? Okay. I'm missing a lot. Do we need to get closer? You can get me. Okay. Did I get anything from him? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna check my corners. I know I keep running into walls. Something did not apparently like this particular tapestry. The damage seems to have been caused by a creature with a very with very large claws. Ring mail, longsword, rations. Oh no, I don't have to deal with rations, do I? I can't tell how far away I am from things. Maybe if I looked at my map. Be better off. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Also very similar to um, Gloomhaven. Not Gloomhaven. I keep saying Gloomhaven. Um, very similar to Stormbudge. Nope. Um, what's the name? What's the um, dungeon crawl style modern game that starts with a G and is really popular and has a sequel? Okay, no, we're not going to move until I figure this out. Grimrock. It's Grimrock. That was very close. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, Legend of Grimrock. Also, I've gone into this pause menu and I can rest, I can pray for spells, and I can memorize spells here, which is interesting. I'm not going to worry. Oh, I can use arrow keys. Why do I always take way too long before even... Oh, this. Oh, it's strafes. Okay, well, we're just gonna do this. I do Q. Numpad. Numpad works. Okay. Perfection. Same. Bottom text. Creepy gloomies. I want that. And what do we got? Another key. Stone key. And a weird noise. Scone smell of incense lingers in the air around these sensors. Boron budge. There's no keyhole. 
I should stop trying keys. Oh. Figured it out. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, I know. I'll never make it through here. I'll find another way. Okay. That went a lot smoother than last time. Oh, so I can hear those opening, like, from a distance. Good. Oh, I need to press that button. That's right, that's right. That's right, more sensors. Cool. Too dark to see what lies below this gray. Okay. Oops, that's just twice. <laughs> that's very responsive. Where'd he go? Ooh. Spellbook and a bow. I'll try the bow. And then book. Can I put that anywhere? Put it on the floor. Interesting. So if I keep going forever and not worry about the book, then I will be a happier person. I really liked um, where I got to at the Anvil of Dawn. No ammo, no ammo, no ammo. Um, also, what is this? Polearm. Let's try a polearm. Um, where I kind of just got out to the main map and saw like a second something caught. It didn't hurt because just blood, not lava. Um, yeah, I was able to see like some of the other dungeons and that was really cool. Can't go that wiggle, yeah. Pull arms a little slower. And it misses more, maybe. Or I'm just missing more. Okay, that was bad. Um, my each tree's only a half. half. Can I eat them? Oh, I can do that here. Not used in that way. Cool. Oh, hi. Carving appears to be that of some sort of winged beast. I should hope that it only exists as a carving. Interesting. I am also realizing now that there is no music in this game. Which is just unfortunate. Is that all that is in that room? It sure is. Right there. Is there a map? Ho oh, ho! Hello! Okay, so uh, windows. Interesting. Windows are upstairs down. Creatures. Okay, so I know that there's a creature there for some reason. And then teleporters, illusory walls. Okay, I'm gonna see what these uh, windows are up to. Once again, I have the option to print my map. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. I'm gonna go up here then. I'm kind of just looking at my mini map now. This is a new area. And a dead end. Okay. We're going maze hunting. Let's do it. Maybe I go find that creature over there that I didn't kill. How do I get over there? <laughs> How do I? Hold on. Um, I'm gonna try going up. Oh, there's a creature. Nailed it. Okay. I'm gonna go across here and then down. There's also some doors. I see there's a creature behind this door. Nailed it. Silver coin. Good. It's, okay, um. See that? It's just good. Can I stack these? No. That's the sound of a door closing in the distance. I'm just kind of walking around this wall. Oops, I think I'm one of the 
Yeah, there's something over here. Yes, there's a dude. Come through. Oh, that's what that. Oh, it's a door opening. In the distance. I'm just kind of. Sometimes I press the wrong button and then I get completely turned around. As I'm sure you do too. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I want to go back down that way. Uh, when I start confusing you, just look at my mini map. <laughs> I can't really do both at the same time very easily, but um, but you can. So that's my pro tip for you. <laughs> that's a fun thing. Why can't I move anymore? I hit numlock, that's why. <laughs> I wonder what that slot is for. Is it for a silver coin? Okay, I put the coin in, it did a thing. But then stop doing a thing. Okay. I'm going. Oh, did it heal me? My hit points are all back. That's cool. Alright, let's look at the map again. I was oh I was hoping I could go through here. Okay. I legitimately don't know how to get over here anymore. Can I break windows? Oh, I can go up here. Okay, no, I figured I figured out how you know basic movement works. Okay. Yes, yeah, so now I'm on the other side of the window. <laughs> Just like that. There's stairs down. Oh, there's a dude. I'm almost like solely looking at my mini map now. Be better, dwarf lady. I'm gonna try camping soon. I'm maybe trying to learn a spell. Pray for spells. Okay, this is when I couldn't figure out. Oh, fire key, fire key, fire key. Nice. Stop hitting me. I'm gonna camp. I'm gonna rest. Yes. That's using my food and giving me health. Okay, pray for spells. Can't pray for spells. Okay, that was fun. Really bad death perception. Sometimes those go well. Sometimes I miss like three times in a row and it has to <laughs> take forever to redo itself. Okay, um anything on this wall? Yes. Uh, and, oh, sorry, a crew potion and a balsa wand. Fun. <laughs> if I do that, no. That. Okay, so I put it somewhere. Don't really know what I can do with it, and the rest of this room seems to be empty. There's another guy behind him, I can see on my mini map. So I will be prepared. I, I mean, I don't know how prepared a person can be, but I will be whatever that much is. So I'm wondering if I do this, 
If I can replenish my food. I don't know. Okay. Another key, another key, another key. I do love keys. Despite the fact that the doors are really only bringing me to things that like aren't really anything new and exciting. Oh, there's like three guys. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I do that and then that, okay. And then that, and then dead. Ah, oh, knew it. <laughs> knew it, knew it, knew it. Was that another silver coin? Yes! Okay, so I can go back to that thing and get healing, or find another one of those things and get healing. What are you? Crimson key. Nope, mm, that way. Axe? Let's try an axe. Oh, another, sil another silver key and rations. Love it. Actually, a good room. Very well guarded, but for good reasons. How do I get out of it? There we go. Um, which way is the best way? Um, that way. I kind of sort of want to get to the stairs, but like I also have a feeling that I'm not going to really gain much there. Uh, so far I like the axe. Blue potion taken. Add to my potions that I don't know how to use. I died! High scores. Oh, those are levels, like on 13. Okay. I'm gonna choose maybe a different class and just try an evil mage. We'll do the evil mage. On easy. Oh, that was easy. I forgot that I did this on easy. <laughs> Keep going. Dungeon hack. <laughs> That first high score looked a lot bigger than the other ones. It makes me think that someone was cheating. Just saying. Or these are the preloaded ones, because I don't think we're connected to the internet anywhere in here, but I don't know. I don't know. Lupin, you are an angel. Oh, ooh. Already quite different. A brass key that immediately goes there. Oh, and the stairs are where I started. Oh, wrong budge. This is interesting. So she says a staff. And it's not doing much damage. It seems much more difficult. <laughs> Just being a mage. Come on, Captain. What is this? Finger of death. Learn it. Know it. Be it. Own it. Okay, so I should probably figure out how to use those slots. Let me just see if there's controls. Oh, Shaw Hall of Fame again. Do that, do that, do that. Nova Sprig Mario. Yeah, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, so it's just double score based. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Okay. So it's 500 XP for basically going to Okay, but what? So I, it didn't save me. Because right now it says I'm at the bottom. But you know what? It exited and that's fine. So, okay. There's gonna be a window. Right here. Oh. This looks as if once held holy water is long gone dry, however. Yeah, window here. Okay. Let's just keep going this way. Oh, I wanted to wanted to try pray for spells. Can't pray for spells. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say not knowing how anything works. Oh see, I'm almost dead too. Yeah, not knowing how anything works really makes this difficult for a mage. 
to yes What else can we just try really quick, though? Mage, fighter, ranger. Fighter, mage, fighter. I want to try the bard. Where's the bard? He seemed cool. Fighter, cleric. There he is. Smooth tongue, yalir. Easy. <laughs> I wonder what custom is, actually. I should try that. Oh, well. I mean, oh yeah, we're already getting a different dungeon. I have a sword. I have this book that I can use. Okay, where where is a mofo? I need to use some burning hands. Just kind of, I can't see my map anymore and it's really making me upset. I just want a burning hand. I love the glass doors. I'm so distracted by the fact that I can cast magic now that I just, I'm not even reacting at all to this cool different new environment, but man. I know I'm backtracking burning hands. So all casting is not possible with that type of armor on. Oh, I'm gonna take the armor off. Love it. Did I run out of mana now? <laughs> There's always magic missile. How can my mage do any of this? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, that's good. Spell book. Okay. So now, if I camp, now I can pray for spells. I can't pray for spells. Can I write spells? It improved identified. What does it even do? So I have two one level level one spells and one level two spell. And I don't know how to get my spells back. I just rest. Yes. Oh, okay, so I've memorized spells now that I've rested. Now to go do. Aha. And I got a garnet ring. <sighs> okay, no. Somehow the bard's my favorite character. Certainly hope that the creature only appears in this dungeon as a tapestry and not in the flesh. Yeah, it's really evil looking. This is a really cool game. This kind of feels, I don't know, it feels like a roguelike, but not roguelike, like straight up rogue. Like you just pick a character, get a dungeon, and then kind of figure out um, how to get as far as you can. And then when you don't, then uh, spells are repeat, but you have to rest. This is a very food based character. <laughs> Um, you know, just try to get as far as you can in the dungeon with the character that you have, and then you try to get better every time, and I like that. I wonder, like, how much more there is to the game, though, because, like, like I said in Anvil of Dawn, we kind of got to the outside world, and that was really cool. Parchment. Oh. Yeah, I'm not super confident that there is an outside world here. You know? Oh, my armor now that I'm not casting magic. It's really good that it's really quick to, like, do armor changes. Especially, um... Yeah, when it's useful like that. <laughs> like having your whole inventory screen basically in front of you at all times and easily accessible and not having to go through menus to do anything. It's all just here. My HP is like basically dead dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's so cool. It's a cool game. I like it a lot. Um, I could see myself kind of definitely getting into this. <laughs> I'm looking at the names a little bit. Because I see JJ Farnsworth. Futurama was not a thing when this was made, and I assume the high scores were created when this was made. <laughs> but it did make me think of um, Futurama there. 
And I'm also looking at the um, ways to die. Orc, ghoul, starvation is an interesting one. Cockatrice, <laughs> killed by magic, very, very um, basic. Went insane, killed by flesh golem, death knight, lich. And then if you get to 13, I guess you win, which is um, interesting. But yeah, this is really cool. I really enjoyed this. Like I said, I can definitely... Oh, still life in real life. I Just weird names. Remy Roro. I don't know. I don't know. This is cool. I like that game. Um, I could definitely see myself getting addicted. Um, in a different time. <laughs> I feel like there's other games that do this kind of same game loop now. Probably a little better and a little less grindy and have more to do. But like, obviously I didn't like figure everything out with this game. There's like um, more spells and things and potions and rings that I really didn't get like a grip on and couldn't figure out more information on. But like for the base gameplay, um, it was good. I, I think what I would have wanted to see is more information about like, what does a sword do versus a polearm versus an ax and like, could I have used one from a distance? I didn't like, I kind of tried doing some of them from a distance and it didn't really work. And um, yeah, so that was all interesting. But that's the kind of thing that I probably would kind of pull me in more as kind of that loot system being a little bit more fleshed out and like, oh, this one has like a slightly better stat and like trying to go around and find better things constantly. But yeah, no complaints, no fat son. I'm not playing as you right now. I accidentally clicked a button. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll get back into the normal Half-Life stuff um, like soon-ish. I think I usually post a video every like three days, give or take. So um, expect a similar schedule after I post this. And then we'll be starting a new point and click. I have one in mind. I have two in mind. <laughs> we'll see which one I do. But thanks again and see you in the next video. Bye.